Uh, today, we are, now that we have all the tubing installed in the upper floors as well as the concrete, uh, you know, we're installing the boiler, the controls. This, this unit will be heating the floors um, and it will also be heating this domestic hot water. There's actually two pumps here. Um, this is an alpha pump, it's a delta P pump that senses pressure differences. And so as zones open and close, this pump speeds up and slows down to accommodate those zones um, with heat from this unit, okay? Uh, there's always a priority or we set ours up with a priority for the domestic hot water. So when this calls for heat, this other pump that is installed over here uh, will run water from this through the coil in here and that heats the domestic water. Uh, you need a higher temperature to do this. So this actually has two temperatures, this system here is a two temperature system. It's, it's not the only source of heat in the house. They do have a forced air um, that's gonna accommodate air conditioning in the summertime uh, and heat rooms that they opted not to have the radiant heat in. The longevity of the system, um, you know, you're, you're gonna probably get in the neighborhood of 20 years out of the heat exchanger in the triangle tube. Uh, the, the pecs in the floor should last, uh, you know, 30 to 50 years. Uh, it's going to last a long time. You should service this on an annual basis. Um, it's a fairly simple service. You're going to uh, make sure the condensate drain is clean. Uh, you may want to do a combustion analysis at that point just to make sure things are running smoothly. Um, uh, other than that, it's, that's about all you're really going to do. Uh, you really don't want to run too much fresh water in it. You know, the water, the oxygen gets removed from the water and um, that stops anything from rusting. When I get the heat started, um, they'll finish the rest of this as far as the drywall. The plumbers will come in and do all the trim, set the toilets, all the floors will be finished, and then we'll come back at the very last when they're doing the painting and all that, and we will set the rest of the thermostats, thermal actuators, um, and just basically finish it off. It'll be uh, fairly simple at that point. It's just the last bit of work. Warm floors, super comfortable temperatures, very consistent heat. Um, generally, you're gonna find that, that Radiant Heat's one of the more efficient systems out there. For more how-to videos and the latest innovations for your bath and kitchen, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.